This is Fisher Flying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to the nest. Please take the time to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. In this episode, we're going to review how to adjust the carburetor on a Polini Thor 250DS by running the engine and looking for physical and sound properties uh, so that you can adjust it properly for the mixture. As well, we're going to review the um, spring kit that we have available that replaces bungee cords on all of our models. Uh, but first, I would like to congratulate Floyd Welsh on the purchase of his re recent kit uh, for his Super Koala. And as well, we'd like to welcome Charles Boyd, who purchased a Polini two, uh, 250DS uh, for his project. So without further ado, we'll get going on the Polini uh, carburetor adjustment. Today I'd like to give a video tutorial on the process of adjusting the carburetor on a Polini Thor 250DS. I'm using footage from a Polini tutorial that shows how to adjust the carburetor on their Thor 190, but the concepts are the same for the 250DS. The Thor 250DS utilizes a different type of carburetor, and I will provide additional information on the standard 250 Polini carburetor within the video so you will get accurate information. The initial short run has the low speed mixture screw adjusted lean by five degrees or about a twelfth of a turn. The engine idles about 2800 RPM and quits when the throttle is advanced quickly. This indicates that the mixture is lean at low RPM. The remedy is to unscrew the low speed screw by five degrees or about a twelfth of a turn at a time and test running the engine until the engine idle speed drops to about 1800 RPM. From low idle, the engine should transition smoothly to high RPM without significant vibration or stumbling. As you can see in this run, the engine didn't quit when the throttle was advanced and it ran much smoother. In this test, the low speed screw has been opened 5 degrees or 1 12th of a turn to demonstrate a rich setting at low speed. The engine was running rough and the idle has dropped down to about 1300 RPM. When the throttle is advanced you get irregular behavior and the engine physically vibrates more than usual. These are symptoms of a rich mixture. So we'll close the low speed adjustment screw by 5 degrees or a twelfth of a turn for the next run. As you can see with this adjustment, the engine runs more smoothly. Notice how the engine doesn't vibrate, but sort of leans into the work as the throttle is advanced. Also, the throttle can be cycled quickly without the engine faltering. 
The idle should be at 1800 RPM now. In this run, we notice that the engine reaches only 6500 RPM and at that speed it is not running smoothly. We'll close the high speed mixture screw inwards uh, 5 degrees or 1 12th of a turn in increments to lean the engine until it runs smoothly and the RPM uh, maximum reaches 8000. It will first begin to run smoothly then the RPM will increase to 8000. This may take a couple of incremental adjustments to complete. In this final test, you can see that the engine has attained the maximum RPM of 8000 and is now running smoothly. The carburetor mixture is now set. Following these carburetor adjustments, you will need to run the engine at a maximum RPM for about a minute and then shut it down and let it cool completely. Remove the spark plug and look at the center electrode to check its color. The color will indicate whether you're running at the proper mixture level. Uh, the color should be a medium to dark brown color uh, and that it will indicate you have the proper mixture level. Uh, if you are running a tan color, you're running too lean. And if you go into the dark, uh, really dark brown or to black, then you're running too rich. This has been a short tutorial to show how to adjust the carburetor of a Polini engine based on visual cues presented when running the engine. It is important that this process be followed when you get your engine running. The settings from the factory will not necessarily be optimal for your uh, al your altitude and need to be checked. Failure to perform this procedure can result in an underperforming engine or in an over lean situation where you end up with a hole in the top of your piston. I'll post a link to a Polini website page that shows in detail the Polini slide carburetor used on the Thorf 250DS and how to make these adjustments to it. I'm going to end today's newsletter with a discussion about our spring gear conversion kit. I've had a number of questions from customers whether or not we can get <clears throat> rid of the uh, bungee cords and uh, that is possible. Uh, we have spring gear conversion kits available for all of our models of aircraft uh, to replace the bungee cords. The kit is retrofittable so you don't have to rem replace any of the hardware in your gear. You just remove the bungee cord apparatus and install the brackets that hold the springs in place. Uh, there's two different weights of springs available, blue and red. They handle different sizes of aircraft, so you have to stipulate what aircraft it's for when you call us. The kit sells for a US 950, and we have parts in stock and available for you. So uh, again, completely retrofittable. You don't have to change anything else on your gear. You just take the old stuff off and put these new ones on, and you have... Uh, spring gear uh, and you don't have to worry about tying any more bungee cords. Thanks again for watching. We try hard to get you good content every week and to help us out please push the subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you're notified when we have new videos ready for you. Have a good day and uh, see you later from the nest.